Hi guys, I want to share with you an experience that I had last night and it was a wow and a good wow. And it's, God, I wish I had more of these experiences. A subscriber came to visit. It was a surprise visit and boy was it a surprise. We were driving around Anderson, South Carolina and another manufactured thunderstorm and the lightning was very very intense but then it started to rain really heavily and all of a sudden I didn't know what had happened I thought at first that he might have hit a really big pothole but the car in the other lane had turned not seeing us and hit us it was a fender bender nobody was hurt and nobody pretended that they were hurt. Raining so hard that pulled off to the side and the guy in the in the car came over and we decided to go to a small shopping center where there was an awning that we could stand under. And they all got out and I stayed in the car for a few minutes and I got out then and I was listening to the conversation and I heard, you know, maybe we could say it was a hit and run or, um, and then heard that, I think it was my subscriber, I don't want to use his name because I, I didn't tell him that I was going to be making this video, but, um, I think he said, something about, well, we can say that somebody else was driving. The man who owned the car, it was his wife and daughter, and his daughter was driving. And he said that his daughter was not on their insurance policy. There was talk about calling the police, and there was no need for the police. Because he took full responsibility immediately. He said, look, this is our fault. Now, that's unusual, because most people, they so want to put the fault on somebody else or try to make it, well, maybe it was both our faults. He took full responsibility, and I was like, wow, okay. It was the friendliest accident I've ever heard about, witnessed, been in, though I haven't been in an awful lot of accidents. Um... But, you know, I was listening to this, and I understand, you know, an accident, boom, your premiums go up, if the police were called, well, then uh, his daughter would have gotten a ticket, and that's more money, and now an accident can really put people over the edge, you know, there's higher premiums, you know, and I didn't know their financial situation, so, and I'm just listening. And um, the guy that owned the car walked out, had a conversation, or we were outside. The only thing that was open was the five guys. And he walked in and he just had a conversation with his wife and came back out and said, I can't lie. Uh, I'm just going to tell the truth. And I can't remember what I said, but he said, that he's going to church tomorrow and he just can't, you know, he doesn't want to have to stand accountable for the lie. So, and then he said, the, this is the essence, it's not verbatim, but he said, I do not want to stand accountable to my Lord Jesus Christ for having lied. So I have to tell the truth. I love it. I love it. It, it. it is an energy that immediately, it, it's like, oh wow, it's, I'm okay. Now many people have claimed that I hate Christians. I so don't hate Christians. You're just not understanding what I'm saying. I hate hypocrisy. And here was a man showing me that he was not a hypocrite. He couldn't lie. He was ready to um, fix.
face the consequences even though I believe those consequences should not be you get into an accident and suddenly you know you're having to pay an awful lot more um, for premiums and you know you get into an accident the daughter's driving she's not insured and I'm not sure what consequences that would bring if the police were called to file a report she would have gotten a ticket points on her license she's young so I understand people who you know suddenly your mind is just thinking of all the possible consequences and there you are having a conversation about well could we say it's this and that and um, you know no one was fighting and everybody was just trying to help one another actually which was so unbelievable I love it um, but obviously that man's moral center was so strong that even considering doing what was wrong within just a few minutes he was back on his path he was kind of trying to you know do something where he wouldn't suffer the consequences and I don't believe those consequences should be suffered but nonetheless he knew lying he just couldn't do it and what a world this would be what a world this would be if more people were like him it was so great and I didn't want them to suffer any consequences um, we certainly could have just not called insurance companies he could have paid for you know I didn't want you know my friend to be out of putting his truck back um, the way it was but I don't think that would have happened but for him it was more important to tell the truth look guys I don't I'm not I don't get to experience that a lot and I have to tell you it is something God I have thought about that guy so uh, the, the whole family you know we shook hands afterwards uh, we told her to call us because they had to go to Georgia and while it was a fender bender where they hit their car if they turned their wheel all the way to the right I think it hit their fender we wanted to make sure that they got home safe she called I think it was like midnight when she called and said we got home safe and then the conversation was like well it was really nice to meet you oh it was great to meet you and God bless and you know it's just oh God so when I see a Christian who even the consideration of lying those few minutes you get to see that okay I can't do it and you know you might want to nudge yourself off uh, the path and try to whittle out of something but you can't do it because you know lying is wrong how cool is that okay how cool is that I love I I get really kind of like I can there's a there's an energy when you're around people with a strong moral center and even watching them you know think of well maybe and okay but can't do it because your moral center you've gotten yourself to a place where it's so strong that even the consideration for a few minutes you're gonna be you're gonna be brought back because there's something in you that you just you, you 
you just have to do what's right. And however screwed you get, and very often people do get screwed when they really live their principles. It's very hard because you end up suffering a lot of consequences. This world is not a principled world. So, when you are someone who lives those principles, um, you pay a price. It's a turned, you know, upside down world. This should not be, but it is. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, it's just so wonderful to see people like this. And so wonderful to have an accident. And no one is fighting. No one is arguing. No one's trying to get out of responsibility. Everybody's trying to help one another. This is the world that could have manifested. But instead, what has manifested is just, you know, I, I sitting right here, I saw a hit and run in the parking lot. A neighbor got into a really small fender bender. She hit a car in a parking lot. Uh, nothing happened to her car. Hardly anything happened to the other car, but of course, a woman in the other car claimed that she had to go to the hospital. Her neck was really... So, there's still, months later, a lawsuit was filed, offers were made, offers were declined, I want more money. That happens more than it doesn't. People suing one another, people lying to get money, people, you know, it's like... So, you know, when I see comments where people are telling me that most people are caring and compassionate and they don't lie, what world are you living in? Because it's not the world I have lived in. And I've lived not a sheltered life. Met a lot of people, lived in a lot of places. And I see it getting worse, not better. Anyway, guys, you know, it comes down to the individual. It really comes down to the individual. You want to manifest a different world? Then live the principles that you speak. You know, and immediately when he said, I couldn't lie, and then he said, I, I have to go to church tomorrow, I immediately thought of what God said in the Bible. Lying is an abomination. And unfortunately, yeah, a lot of Christians lie. They just don't take it seriously. You know, they... When I see somebody who takes it seriously, understanding he's going to have to suffer the consequences. It's really impressive. So, just wanted to share that. And I've longed to live in that world my entire life. And I'm so glad that I got to experience meeting a subscriber who I have never met before and watching how he was also, you know, responding to all of this and and then the family and everybody just trying to help one another. I I was just like observing and taking it all in and going, yeah. Yeah. God, wouldn't it be wonderful if people just treated one another with respect and took responsibility when they were wrong and, and lived the principles that they 
that they speak. The entire world would shift like immediately. And I do think that that, that was what the Our Father is all about. When, you know, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I think we were supposed to bring heaven to earth. And we failed miserably. Um, yeah, well... Have a good night, guys.